Hello my friends, today we're going to be revealing um, three upcoming new cards for the winter expansion. Um, let's just get started right away. So the first card is uh, Vicious Salvo. Deal three damage to a target unit, unit, suppress adjacent units. Now this is just a better from the people. Of course it's from a different nation and um, it's a higher rarity. I believe from the people is the lowest rarity, the common standard rarity. Um, now, From the People is not good, though. Um, <laughs> you would never just run it in a deck. You might see it generated occasionally from Night Witches, or um, you know, if Self Damage is playing Red Dawn and doesn't want to take 3 damage, they might take it From the People, but you would never just run it in a deck. So it's a pretty low um, barrier to be better, uh, to be a strictly better version of From the People. Um, suppress is a fairly good effect. Um, there's a lot of um, annoying card text that can be suppressed. Notably though, Aichi is rotating, so one of the targets, um, one of the most notorious, I would say, destruction effects in the recent meta is going away. And also, um, the 272nd guards well, the printer is not, I don't think it's going to be a thing in the new meta. The two destroy a unit and replace it with a friendly unit of the same cost cards and that the Soviet has, I believe, are rotating. Um, Rural Factories and uh, um, Red Banner. Um, so this this how good Suppress is definitely depends on how many targets you will be able to use it on in the meta. I just don't think it's that good. Um, w first of all, like you have to consider where this card would be run. Would it be run in US midrange? Probably not. An order has to have a lot of value for it to be run in US midrange because you would much rather have a unit with the deployment effect that, that helps you remove a unit or um, something like that because US midrange it needs a lot as a mid-range deck, it needs units. It needs units to push into the front line, build a front line for Blitzkrieg, and uh, to hold the front line so that you can draw with Sherman. There's, you know, there's definitely if you've played U.S. mid-range, um, you'll definitely notice that there's times where your your hand is just like Blitzkrieg, um, Stars and Stripes, Strat bombing, even um, we can do it, and you would much rather just have units on the board. Um, because, you know, orders, units you can always play, right? You can always play and develop a threat. Orders are very situational and, you know, an order has to be, have, have a very high impact for it to be run in a deck like US midrange. I just don't think Vicious Salvo is at it. Um, in ramp, I think you would much rather have, you know, it's kind of the same principle, really. Um, you'd much rather play a a bomber that, that has a deployment effect of destroy a unit um, rather than just three dam 3k for three damage order it just doesn't bring enough value for uh, onto the table for something like ramp unitless maybe it probably has the highest chance of seeing it play there um, even then I don't think it's that great um, it will dep depend on the meta though there are situations where it could be useful. For example, um, you know, let's say you have your opponents like playing Britain brittily control. You got like an Alpini in the support line protecting a Wellington. Well, you can take out the Wellington and uh, remove the effects of the Alpini. You could, you know, maybe if you're playing against Jagro, they'll have some units in the support line, like a Martyr maybe and a signal regiment, you can destroy the uh, martyr and render the signal regiment useless. Um, but it, it just doesn't seem like there's enough cases like that for it to be good. Um, so it's certainly an interesting effect and it could potentially be good if there's you know specifically a lot of three health threats in the meta plus good targets for you to suppress. But it just feels a little too conditional. So, next card, Sissio Sasto, 5D, 
I assume that means like fifth division or something. Um, very interesting effect. One two guard, infantry guard, uh, gets one, plus one plus one when an enemy unit is added, deployed, or destroyed. So there's a lot of ways for that to happen. <laughs> um, the immediate thing is that uh, let's. How do I phrase it? So it it's a threat that aggro and mid range uh, decks will have to deal with immediately because it can snowball out of control very quickly, right? Um, if you but the thing is, if you just play this as a one two, then there's a lot of units that could potentially trade with it if the units are already on board. You know, like 35T, a lot of Jagro units, if Jagro is still the thing. Um, in the meta, um, you know, even like with a new with Alpine potentially coming in, back into the meta, it's pretty easy for an Alpine unit to destroy this. Um, but, you know, even if you... Um, even if it's like weak at the start, you you can potentially play this and remove a unit to buff it immediately. Like say you play a Sissio Sasto, um, you sudden strike a two a two drop that would have traded into it. Now it's a two three guard, and your opponent just doesn't have any units on board and has to play units to remove it. Removal is generally pretty scarce in aggro and mid range. Um, decks, you know, they won't have that many effects to just directly remove a unit like this. Um, you know, Pathfinder is, is maybe one of them for US midrange. Uh, there's very few uh, direct removal effects. Um, th if this gets like half-tracked, you're probably not too, um, not too mad about that because, you know, half-track on a two drop, not a huge deal. You probably have much bigger infantry guards that you would rather not get half tracked. Um, you could also play this on an empty board. Sorry, not an empty board. You can play this with and a full board of, of uh, like your opponent has a full board of units. You could play this and then just wipe their board. You know, with something like carpet bombing, monsoon rot, supply shortage. Um, things like that, and you could just destroy their board and put a huge guard down that gets bigger the more units that they deploy. So if they don't have an answer to that, it's just kind of game over. Although notably, you can't do that with effects that have hit the entire board, like Maelstrom or uh, the Soviet board, board clear Winter Warfare plus ISU. Overall, very interesting uh, card, and I think it can potentially see play. Uh, it will definitely depend on the meta and how good Finland is um, as an ally to support to support decks that would want to play this, which are likely going to be control decks. Um, yeah, very interesting card. Next card is Frozen Assets, potentially the most interesting of the three. Add a CC to adjacent to a friendly unit. It has Blitz and Salvage. So, as a reminder, CC is a 1-1 one, one infantry that destroys um, units that are dealt combat damage by it. So kind of like that 1-3 um, Brit British Commando. So, my immediate thought was this actually gives a way for CCs to attack into the support line immediately if you have a unit in the front line because since they are infantry it's very hard for it to attack into the su support line and get a high value support line target like an artillery or bomber if it starts out in your support line so if you have this in the front line then you're threatening potentially all the units in the enemy support line which is a pretty powerful effect i would say um their, their support line could be guarded. Um, they could also have units with heavy armor one, uh, which would negate the sissy's attack, because it just went. It just um, it has to deal damage to destroy it. So heavy armor would block its damage. Of course, you know 
there there are ways to uh, suppress units. For example, one of the reveal target uh, cards is the White Death, which is an AOE suppress. So it can suppress guard. It can suppress uh, heavy armor. If you use that in combination with this, you can pretty much kill kill off any unit you want if you have um, a unit in the right position because it does require a unit uh, to exist on your board in the first place which is, is cer certainly not a negligible drawback but in return for it you for it um, you have a way to attack directly into the support line and not only remove a unit in the support line but add, add it as a salvaged unit to hand so that's a pretty powerful effect I would say um, of course, you know, it's also a threat for the opponent if they want, they might think twice about moving uh, high value or big units into the front line because you can just um, play this on a friendly unit. Even if you don't have um, a unit on the board, you can just play one and then it'll play the frozen assets on the, your friendly unit and it'll be able to attack and remove a unit in the front line right away. So, um, very interesting effect. Potentially, is this is potentially a very high value control card because it, it can remove a big threat and also add a smaller version of that threat to your hand. So that's a huge value swing. Um, now, whether Finland is still is good enough as a control ally, it remains to be seen, but it certainly has received a lot of cards which would fit well uh, in a control archetype. So those are the cards today. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.